to GT Not Live, where I just flew in from PAX, and boy are my arms tired. Get it? Because I flew in from PAX? Oh my god, you were flapping. I was flapping. Yeah. Okay. Is, is that a joke that you, uh, you Gen Zers don't really have? <laughs> no, not really. No? I was like, were you, like, compressed? Y in yes. the seats? I mean, yes. Like <laughs> that, that's not wrong. Like... <laughs> That is a. If it were this, though, it'd be. Boy, my whole body is tired. <laughs> like, yeah, but with the arms, especially, they really. Sometimes your neighbors on planes really take up those armrests. Oh, well, well. If they're in the middle, they're allowed to. I believe that is the official rule. Ah. If you're in the middle seat, yes. your perk is armrests. Right. If you're on left or right, you get window or side. But anyway, that's the. Speaking of armrests mm -hmm. in planes, can I just say this? Whoever's idea it was to put the controller devices. For the TV, because you know how some planes have the the controller devices built into the armrest? You are stupid, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. Whoa. Wait. That was harsh. That I... was harsh. Do better. Someone, you, you know, your team let you do this. Is, here's the, your team let you down because that was a terrible idea. There are no bad ideas in brainstorming. That was a bad idea in brainstorming. Whoa! Whoa. Think about it. Okay. When you're sitting on a plane and you have, like, no space, right? And all of a sudden you're like, oh, at least I have the respite of the armrest. But then all of a sudden, you, like, put your elbow down on, like, the volume button or the change the channel button or the, like, call button or whatever. It's, it's just chaos. It's chaos. Here you are trying to watch your free preview version of Ted Lasso on a screen that's literally the equivalent of like a Fitbit screen. And all of a sudden it's like boop! Move to the next thing, or pause it, or like now all of a sudden I've skipped to like 
Game of Thrones or something, right? It's a hot mess. So, I love you, whoever tried to make our lives easier by making that control possible. I am grateful that touch screens have now been implemented into those sorts of things. But it just occurred to me the other day that I just, it's, it's frustrating, you know? Anyway, this, this is the accurate way to tell the joke at this point, though. The, like, squeeze your body in as tightly as possible. If, if you could shove your body, please, into the overhead apart the overhead compartments that would be ideal for the plane the overhead compartments yeah yeah, yeah. that i mean that way they're getting like double the seats it's true i mean you'll get like 20 dollars off your ticket price but mm. you know you, you, you can't have a carry-on at that point. I have things to consider. Yeah, this Surely. thing. The, my, my plane out to PAX actually like, made an announcement being like, uh, this plane has been optimized for weight. So if you could make sure that all overhead pin space is as least used as possible, that would be great. Optimized for weight. Yeah, I don't know what the, yeah, they didn't want things in the overhead bin space. I, that... I, uh, yeah. That is such a vague and weird way to put it. It was concerning, honestly. This plane has been optimized so that things that have gravity with them can be on them. Correct, yeah. Optimized for it. I think what they were implying, right, is that they... I think what planes have started to do is they've started to adjust how fueled... They, they've probably been doing this for years, but I think I've only become aware of it recently, which is... I think they, like, under-fuel a lot of the planes, or give it, like, just the perfect amount of fuel, so that way there's not a lot of, like, extra weight in the, the tanks of the plane. So that way it flies more efficiently because the more weight you put on it, the, you know, the heavier it is, the more, you know, fuel you need to get it moving. And so when it's been optimized for weight, there's a very clear threshold of appropriate weight that, like, we only have enough gas to get to here. Certainly. And so, if, if not, who knows? You know, <laughs> the, the, the way, I don't know if you've been following the news around planes, but me as, as the historically nervous flyer, I tend to follow plane news a lot. Mm. 
But, like, there's been a lot of, like, doors and things popping open lately on planes. Doors! Doors? Yeah, doors have been <laughs> popping open on planes. Whoa! And let me tell ya, if there's a scarier door... Popping open than the doors and doors. <laughs> it is the doors on planes. <laughs> Get these mother <laughs> doors. Whoa. Get these mother doors to stay shut on my planes. <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going. No, but I, I, I was just thinking planes and snakes and doors. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, but, you know, clearly to save on weight, they've also stopped, it, they've stopped using as many rivets on the play. They're like, we gotta optimize for weight. Use fewer screws. Things just Popping open all over the place. Wow. Oh boy. It is a dark and strange time. Every ounce they can save, huh? Yeah, that, you know, those Q4 revenue reports aren't gonna. <laughs> fix themselves and they so too much in the, the money that they can save off of slightly <laughs> less fuel and slightly fewer rivets mm. are really gonna counteract the stock tanking as news hits that, wow, the security door keeps popping open mid-flight. No! That's great. That's way the long-term costs here, guys. <laughs> It's a build the plane properly. Fly the plane. Sometimes there are no more edges that you can cut off. You just gotta figure out something new. Oh, what dystopian future we have. Hey, maybe next time I can talk about PAX. Yeah! Wait, I was gonna talk about PAX, <laughs> but we ended up talking about planes and doors on planes. <laughs> next time! We'll talk about Pax. Pax was incredible. If you haven't seen my speech, it's available on the Pax channel. Uh, maybe we could link to it in the description. I could talk about it more next time. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll we'll link to it. I will also link to it in the next video, but it was it was super fun. It was the best. I got to meet so many of you. I got to see so many of you. It is it has been actually far too long since I've gotten to do 
a convention, especially a gaming convention, and it was just awesome. It was great. I have nothing but great things to say about everyone who was there, the staff who was there. It was just a... I wasn't there for long. I was there for 24 hours. I, I stayed as long as I possibly could. But, man, it was... It was awesome, and I can't wait to do more things like that in the future. So, talk more about that next time. For now, we gotta talk about doors that aren't on planes. We're talking about doors that are in basements? Back doors? What, what are we doing here? So, why are we back with doors? Was, I'm assuming there's an update, yes? There has been an update. Okay, In fact, yes. There is a whole new floor of doors. A floor of doors? A floor of doors. Okay. So. Excellent. I think. You will get a kick out of this. However, I am afraid. As we should. <laughs> Me and doors have a history. There is a history between you and doors. There is also a history between doors and production on this channel. That I don't think the audience is privy to. Oh, that's true. You know, you're absolutely right to call that one out. So. <laughs> And this is Please. so, this is so brutal for me to talk about. Um, it is only more ironic if this gets lost. So if you're listening to this, this is a great sign. <laughs> let's, let's make that clear right now. I don't now. know, it is worth calling out the fact that the this filming has actually had to stop and start like two oh times. Oh my god! Oh my god, you're so right. There is a curse. There's a curse with this Whenever game. Whenever we record Doors episodes. It's, yeah. So... We have, uh, we don't typically lose episodes. No. That's not something that happens. No. But it has happened with doors not once, but twice. And for this episode, we tried filming maybe like three different times after I ran all of my usual testing. And immediately, three minutes into our first take, everything breaks. It froze. Camera froze. Yeah. The audio starts beeping and booping. Oh, beeping and booping! Beep, beep, Is it a beep, robot? Beep, like a robot. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. And so we had to stop and completely reconfigure our studio space. And I'm afraid right now, but we're doing it for you. Yeah. So, wish us luck. Yep. 
There you go. In, in fact, you, you say you're afraid right now. But positive. Positive and afraid. Which, yeah. fun fact, was the screenshot that we <laughs> ended on last time. Because it, it just randomly froze as we had just, like, started <laughs> off the intro. And it was a picture of me doing this and smiling. Yeah, looking off to the side. Yeah. Almost like gerbil-esque in the posture of it. Gerbil-esque! Yeah! Yeah, hamster adjacent. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Precise. You've heard of Kafka esque. Well, <laughs> let me show you gerbil esque. It's amazing. Um, okay, so there's an update to doors, so I should just hop into the game. This was fun. Okay. So, long story short, yay! I managed to actually get through an entire thing of the rooms. Of the doors. Of the rooms. <laughs> I got through all the doors. That's amazing. I've managed to get through most of the doors in the past. We've gotten to room 100 before, and then we lost the random boss battle at the end. But, uh, no! This was great! I thought that this was really cool, and I think the timer element of it adds a lot to the gameplay experience. It's, it's a very different sort of game, but it's equally fun. And a lot, like, very tense. Like, it actually created a lot more tense moments in a way that Basic Doors doesn't, right? Basic Doors is just like, did you fail, did you win? You know, and you're sneaking, and you're trying to be a little bit more careful, you're exploring more. This gives you those moments of, like, close misses, or, like, the tension of, like, Oh, if I just get there a little bit faster, I can do it. Which is really cool and, and satisfying in a completely different way. Uh, this was really fun. This was a really cool short update. And I'm assuming that they're doing this as part of, like, a larger Roblox initiative. Like, what is the hunt? I don't know how this connects to whatever the hunt is. Do you know what the hunt is? Uh, the hunt is a broader Roblox event. Sure. Um, so that's Makes kind sense. of like what this spawned for. But, um, the back door is actually going to stay in this game and they're going to tweak it a little bit once this event is done. Yeah. Um, but yeah. This is now a new part of the Doors universe. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm proud of myself. So we've managed to get through 150 doors. Then there was the whole, like, secret doors that we got through. The, like, back rooms doors. <laughs> this is fun. So... 
you know, I enjoyed that. I feel oddly satisfied. And and look, things didn't break. Nothing numb was about that. Yeah. I got most of this Hello, monitor. who's at the door? <gasps> Use your elixir. Oh, sorry, you don't have a hundred gold. Need to do it again. It's a connected universe. But hey, remember. That's very real, Matt Pat. 